It is common knowledge that refined sugar is bad for us, but our daily cravings make cutting back on sugar difficult and requiring massive dedication. Consuming beverage and food products made with artificial sweeteners seems like an easy solution, right? Sugar-free or diet products give you the same delicious taste with no cost of the refined sugar. Switching to artificial sweeteners seems like a no-brainer. However, it is not this simple. There are plenty of advertisements that promote the use of artificial sugars. However, you might have seen news headlines examining the detrimental health impacts. So are artificial sugars really bad for us? Let's take a closer look. Just what are these sweeteners? Artificial sweeteners are sugar substitutes that are generally made in a laboratory, but may also be extracted from natural substances. There are several different types, the most common being aspartame, saccharin, and sucralose. These artificial sweeteners are found in products such as NutraSweet, Sweet and Low, and Splenda. Artificial sweeteners are virtually zero calories for two reasons. First, they are either so sweet that they only require a tiny amount to provide the same sweet sensation, or two, they cannot be metabolized by our bodies, so they simply pass through our digestive system without being absorbed. Why are artificial sweeteners appealing? The first and most obviously appealing aspect is that they don't contain calories. This may seem very enticing to individuals who are aiming for weight loss or avoiding weight gain. Also, many are good alternatives to sugar if you have diabetes. Unlike sugar, artificial sweeteners generally don't raise blood sugar levels because they are not carbohydrates. But always remember to check with your doctor before using sugar substitutes if you have diabetes. This sounds way too good to be true. There must be a catch, right? Artificial sweeteners have been investigated for many years. The media, critiques, and even some scientists have said that artificial sweeteners cause a whole range of health problems, including cancer. This is largely because of studies dating back to the 1970s that linked saccharin to bladder cancer in laboratory rats. These studies were so influential that in the past, saccharin had to have a warning label, indicating that it might be hazardous to human health. But according to the National Cancer Institute and other health agencies, there is no scientific evidence that any artificial sweetener causes cancer or has serious health problems. As a result of newer studies, the warning label for saccharin has been dropped. So is it time to replace all sugars with artificial sweeteners? Artificial sweeteners may not lead to weight loss. One concern about artificial sweeteners is that they affect the body's ability to gauge how many calories are being consumed. The human brain responds to sweetness by releasing a hormone called insulin. Insulin helps move glucose, a type of sugar, from the blood into the cells of the body to provide the cells with energy. When the sweet taste is experienced without any calories, however, insulin is still released expecting to drive sugar into the cells. When there isn't any sugar in the blood, cravings are initiated for rich foods and drinks, ultimately to provide the cells with energy. In this way, artificial sweeteners may indirectly lead to weight gain. Researchers at the University of California, San Diego have investigated this theory. The participants in the study were asked to take sips of water that contained either natural sugar or an artificial sweetener. The brains were then examined through functional MRI scans. The results of this study showed that natural sugars led to a different pattern of brain activation. When we eat a high concentration of natural sugars, there's a specific pathway in the brain that can tell us how much we are eating. But it appears that artificial sweeteners activate another brain pathway that cannot monitor how much sweetener we are consuming. In other words, we may be more likely to overindulge in artificially sweetened foods, leading to excessive calorie consumption. Let's summarize. Artificial sweeteners are appealing. This is because they provide a sweet taste without the associated refined sugar. They are safe for consumption. However, it is not without its caveats. Lastly, consuming sweeteners does not truly satisfy cravings. The body is expecting glucose to provide the cells with energy. So when this energy expectancy is not met, the body craves calorie-rich foods. In addition, the body may not be able to monitor and limit levels of artificial sweetener because it activates a different brain region as compared to natural sugar. So what is the answer? Clearly, refined sugar is bad for you. Although artificial sweeteners aren't necessarily bad, 
they do not provide any benefits, other than their sweet taste. Sticking to wholesome foods such as fruits and vegetables, and water, is the best option towards a healthier diet.